Hey, today I will show you a couple of ways that you can make your photos and videos more cinematic. I will speak about subject, lighting, halation, camera, settings, colors, and editing in Lightroom and DaVinci Resolve. Let's go! <laughs> What is cinematic? To put it simply, cinematic is one of that looks like a real movie you watch in the cinema. Personally, I think to get the cinematic look is more impressive at night than during the day. Technically, shooting a good sunrise or sunset, you can get a beautiful light and get the cinematic look, but everything looks more mysterious at night. One of the most important aspects of cinematic photography and videography is storytelling. Try to focus on subjects that have long clubs, hats, umbrellas, get these different shots from different angles, always keeping in mind the light behind our subject. This is one of the keys to get the cinematic look. The single light surge creates such a nice vibe and combination with a single person means cinematic. Light When the light interacts with texture such as fog, rain, smoke, this creates a really cool effect. The results help to keep the image more deep. It helps to put your subject away from the background because there's so much textures between the subject and the background. To get this, shoot into the light because this helps to pop your subject out of the image and don't forget the halation. Honestly, I think you should have a good camera, good sensor. This camera should work nicely in low light conditions. And obviously a good lens, because we don't want the noise and grain from very low light. This could be a distract from the history that you are trying to tell. Also, if you want noise in your image, you can make that in few steps with Lightroom. I have a quick tutorial for you, link in the description box. About my camera, I use the Canon R6. It's the camera I'm using right now. It's working really well in low light conditions. Settings Use silent shooting. While working in the streets, you may want to shoot as many pictures of a moment as possible, but do it silently. This will not call the attention of any subject. My shutter speed is between 140 and 100. My ISO is between 500, maximum 1600. And my weight balance is 4700. I really like this kind of orange. The process to edit one picture cinematic in Lightroom and one video cinematic in DaVinci Resolve is gonna be really similar. Tone contrast? The best way to do it is with the Cars tool that gives more granular control over the overtones and undertones. Let us see it in just the right amount of density or tonality in the shadows and highlights. Roll off, create this effect using the curves tool. We bring down the to highlights point, creating a nice curve like a solder easy. The brain sparks into a gentle roll off. Milky blacks, shadows never pitch blacks. This means that any pixels in your image that were black are now a shade of dark gray. 
spread down in the total range in the waveform. To create this, bring up the very bottom point from absolute blacks compressing the tonal range and creating a neat between in the understones and the saddles. Color is a very important element in the scenes. It can change the way we feel about a film and photo. Color can make us feel happy, sad or fearful. Color can change the mood of the film and set the tone. One cinematic popular color is teal and orange look. To create this in Lightroom, pick up your brows and use the saturation. To create this in DaVinci Resolve, these are qualifiers to select skin tones after inverted and put some tilt into the shot with the color wheels. Use the luminous saturation curves to clean up the shadows. Color density. Notice how the 13 colors and skin tones look more rich and dense. To create this in Lightroom, to create this in DaVinci Resolve, Use the Luma vs Hue curves by isolating the color range with two points and then a middle point we can drag it down to match the color density in the skin tones. You can also play around and do the same thing with other colors like a red and blue. Halesium. Notice a reddish or orange glow near the contrasting boundaries of overexposed areas. One example of Halesium is CineStyle A100T. CineStyle A100T was designed for tough low light situations. To create this in Lightroom, edit your color grade and rest the edit in Photoshop with Gaussian Blur and Linear Blur. To create this in DaVinci Resolve, see it? Halesium effect. I hope this is useful for you. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and I will see you in the next one.